Welcome back to AI Quest. There has been a ton of crazy AI news over the past week. We're going to go through it from real time language translators that keep your voice and tone to cyborg cockroaches. Things are getting really wild in the world of AI. So let's jump straight in. First up, we have X's new AI chatbot called Grok. This ChatGPT competitor has just been rolled out to all US Premium Plus subscribers and it's already causing a stir on social media. Grok is trained on billions of tweets, giving it a vast trove of information to draw from. It can access real-time data on X, making it a really powerful tool. But this access to real-time data also means that it can be exposed to a lot of false information. As we know, there's loads of false info out there on Twitter. Twitter or X. Other than that, Grok has a sense of humor and a lack of censorship that ChatGPT does not have. So it's going to be very interesting to see how useful this tool is going to be. But I imagine it will keep people on X on the platform for longer. So I think it's going to be a success for X. Here are a few example responses from Grok. So this guy asked it who would win in a fight, Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg. And it says, oh boy, a fight to the death between Elon and, and Mark. That's like choosing between a Tesla and a Facebook account. But I've, if I had to pick, I'd say Elon Musk has the upper hand. He's got the height advantage and probably has a few more tricks up his sleeve from his time at SpaceX. Plus, he's got a flamethrower. But hey, who knows? Maybe Mark Zuckerberg has been secretly training in the art of Facebook food. So as you can see, he definitely has humor. I kind of like it. Here we have an actual useful use case. So this person asked where Bindu Ready is throwing an AI party tonight in San Francisco. Can you tell me when and where it is? And because it has access to all this Twitter data, it can tell you exactly where and when it is. Here we have Elon tweeting this image of someone prompting Grok saying, when was Elon's last interview with Joe Rogan? Which Grok then responds to, says exactly when it was and what they talked about. And then they asked, what was Joe Rogan wearing? And it actually nailed that. Now comparing it to the typical GPT, it didn't know what he was wearing. But if we look at the context here, obviously Grok received two segmented prompts and this typical GPT only got this one prompt. So it's not really a fair fight, but still this looks awesome. Next up, we're looking at Animate Anyone. Now this actually comes from Alibaba researchers who have developed a new tool called Animate Anyone that can create high quality videos of anyone with just a single image and a little bit of pose guidance. Now obviously this is very cool. Just look at these examples here. They input the static image of this girl, they put the pose guidance in from another video. And then as we can see, this person is dancing and it looks absolutely amazing. It can even do anime characters. Here we have Iron Man. Now I'm extremely impressed by this and so were a lot of other people. However, this tool has been met with a lot of concerns as it could be used to create deep fakes or other forms of manipulated media. So they have not yet released the tool publicly. If you go over to their GitHub, they say that they appreciate our patients as we take the necessary steps to clean, document and test the code to meet all these standards. So you cannot use this one yet. However, an extremely similar tool called Magic Animate just released. It seems like the parent company of TikTok has something to do with it, but it literally does the exact same thing and you can use it right now for free on their hugging face space. I'll leave all the links for everything in the description. So let's give this a little try quickly. So here I have a picture of Killian Murphy and here I have a video of a TikTok girl dancing. Let's leave all this the same and hit animate, see what we get. As you can see, there's a long queue of requests pending. You can duplicate this space and then you just pay it a little bit of money and you can and skip the queue. I'll just wait for it to finish, but here are some other examples. Here's the Mona Lisa running, girl with the pearl earring, and Wonder Woman. This looks absolutely amazing. Anyway, you can check this out in the link in the description. And this tool is being used so much right now that I can't even get through. But test this out for yourself, it should be amazing, so let me know how it goes and what your results are. In similar animation news, Microsoft has released a paper on their new talking avatar generator called Gaia. So again, they just take a reference image and then you can completely automate it with talking. It's like DID, but way better. Here we have an Einstein. Because the knowledge humans can grasp is limited. We can't compete with machines in terms of knowledge. I mean, that's definitely better than DID, which was already really good. So as you can see, the code is not here yet, but it's coming soon. So keep an eye on Gaia. Next up, Meta have released a bunch of new AI tools, over 20 new AI features, including their new standalone product called Imagine with Meta AI. It's a free AI image generator. However, I cannot use it yet because it's not available in my location, but using a VPN, we can access it right now. So let's try giving it a prompt. A llama riding a skateboard. As you can see, really good results, and this is totally free right now. So start using this for generating images and let me know what you think of it. Next up, something I think is even cooler. Meta just released Seamless Expressive, a new real-time translation tool 
that copies your speech style by copying your tone and expression. Now I think this is a huge step forward in translating and can be really, really useful. So here's a quick example. So glad you are here. I am so happy to see you. Me alegra mucho que estés aquí. Me alegra mucho verte. Now as you can see, it copies her tone of voice and her intonations and everything. But unlike some tools like HeyGen can do, it does not sync the lips. Still very, very cool. You can try the demo out completely free. Uh, I can't do it right now because I'm using my mic to record this, obviously, but you can choose from four languages and you can play around with it. Unlimited generations, 10 seconds per generation. So give that a go, link in description. So next up, even McDonald's is trying to get into the AI game. The fast food chain has announced that it's building an AI chatbot called Ask Pickles that will be trained on data from over 50,000 restaurants. Ask Pickles will provide employee guidance for workers' questions ranging from equipment cleaning to maintenance. This could really help improve efficiency and reduce costs for McDonald's. So they already use AI for ordering at 100 drive throughs with plans to expand. And they have so much data from those 50,000 restaurants that they have a massive base for their AI, so I think that'll work out well for them. So, yay for McDonald's, I guess. In other news, researchers have used AI to analyze sperm whale clicks and found that they are essentially whale equivalents to human speech. This suggests that sperm whales may be able to communicate complex information with each other. Now, these are really the kind of AI stories I love. Just AI being used to do cool stuff. And in what may be the wildest AI story of them all, scientists created cyborg cockroaches with living muscle tissue melded into robotic bodies. The idea is that these robo-roaches could someday aid in earthquake search and rescue since they can access extremely tight spaces. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure if I'm stuck under rubble that I want cyborg cockroaches to be crawling around there with me. I find this pretty disturbing but also pretty cool. And those are just some of the latest happenings in the world of AI. Every week gets more insane. Let me know in the comments if you have any input on these subjects and if you'd like to see more of these news videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.